So now the FBI is getting a list of people that own guns in Missouri. I sent you a letter last week about the FBI's decision to try to obtain sensitive personal information related to concealed carry permits in the state of Missouri. I've got the letter right here. Have you read this? I have had a chance to, to, glance, to glance at it, yes. Good. So let, let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, why is the FBI attempting to audit concealed carry permit records in the state of Missouri? So I, I guess the first thing I would say is we will get you a longer, more detailed uh, and specific response to your letter. Um, I am generally familiar with the kind of audits that we're talking about. So I can give you a little information now, but we will follow up with you in writing. Uh, to give you a more fulsome answer to your letter. The, the kinds of audits that we're talking about are routine audits that are conducted uh, by our Sieges Division, which also encompasses NICS, among other things. Uh, these are audits that we do not with agents. This, there are no agents out talking to people. Um, they are routine audits of the system to make sure the system is being used properly, and they do that at the direction of an advisory policy board that is uh, manned with not just FBI agents, frankly, not just federal law enforcement, but state and local law enforcement from all over the country. Uh, and so these audits go on, uh, they look at small samples in order to make sure the system's being used properly. They're not focused on individuals uh, or their uh, Second Amendment rights or anything like that. And in fact, uh, these audits which go on, as I said, you know, every three years I think is the cycle. We had one uh, in, in your home state in 2018, for example, and I think it was very uneventful, and I would expect this one to be as well. You're, you're correct that there was one in 2018, and what the sheriffs of Missouri say in 2018 is that the FBI did not request concealed carry records. You are requesting it this year. In the state of Missouri, only the sheriffs have these concealed carry records because Missouri law explicitly forbids concealed carry permit information to be turned over to state officials or to federal officials. So think about that. The law actually forbids for that information to be turned over. So what are they doing? They're probably looking into sheriffs to see if they can find any violations uh, for the sheriffs in providing those uh, when they do the background checks for the concealed carry permits to see if there's any violations so that they can remove the ability for that sheriff to probably do that and maybe even criminally charge them. Uh, for neglecting to use the system properly. Otherwise, you're talking about people that went to a law enforcement agency to get their concealed carry permit and were issued that, and there's no reason for the U.S. government to be looking into who those people are because they are known to be gun owners. For reasons that you can surely understand, we've seen recently what's happened in California, for instance, when gun owners are, are exposed, their personal information put out into the public record. So I just want to understand why it is the FBI is now seeking from our sheriffs, and we're talking about multiple sheriffs who have, who have, who have contacted me, who have contacted other state officials, who have spoken to the press, saying that the FBI is now asking for the names of concealed carry permit holders in the state of Missouri. Why is that? And this earlier in this, I uh, was watching the, uh, you can see it on the side here, points of interest. The FBI needs more resources for gun background checks. So they say they need more resources to do better background checks, yet at the same time they're spending their time doing this, double checking to make sure, you know, with uh, concealed carry permit holders to make sure that the sheriff, a law enforcement official, is doing his job properly. But if you've not done it before, I don't understand. Well, again, I, I'm going to have to look deeper into to give you a more fulsome answer to your question. Uh, my understanding, my limited understanding uh, as we sit here right now, not having a chance to drill into it more deeply, but is that the uh, that under Missouri state law, checks for concealed carry permits are run using one of those systems that CGIS administers. So in order to be able to determine that the system is being used properly, consistent with the audit, consistent with the direction of the advisory policy board, I think that may explain the answer. But so, again, okay. let, me, let me follow up with you so in you, more detail in writing. Okay, so you can confirm, though, it sounds like you're saying that indeed the FBI is asking for, for records, because you just said that would be the reason for requesting this information. I, I don't know that for a fact, but that's what I've heard that may be part of, may explain the disconnect, but I'm not sure. Well, heard from whom? You say you've heard. Heard from your agents or 
heard from, from whom? From people within the, our organization, yes. So okay. Trying to, as I'm trying to, in the middle of everything else, trying to unpack what exactly is going on with the, the dust up over this particular audit. Well, you say in the middle of everything the else, you can up. understand, I hope, why this would be of <clears> significance <throat> to the people of Missouri. Absolutely, and that's why I've committed to you that we will make sure we get you a detailed response in writing. What, what, what could you possibly be doing, I mean, with the personal information of these individuals? Let me ask it this way. Are How about the fact that it's illegal for the sheriff to turn it over so they're in a conflict they've got something that's barring them from re from turning the information over on the permit holders yet the federal government is saying you have to turn this information over to us and you know he's about to ask why do you need that information at no point does it involve releasing the people's information to verify that the system is being run properly why don't they take some of the names that they know have been run through it and just do a audit on that to see if you know, the information is being checked properly. Like, has this person been run through and they've been rejected by the FBI? Hey, Sheriff's Department, show that you did not give issue them a permit. And that's a check to make sure that the system, that the, the person is not just letting everybody through. And you don't need to get all the names so that I can check into all the names, all the permit holders and all, this, all the state in other words, all these people that legally went and said, hey, I own a gun and I'd like a permit so that I can carry it. Um, this is why constitutional carry and things like that are much better than, than putting your name in for a concealed carry permit. In any case, even if you have a concealed carry permit in your state that's available and you have the constitutional right to carry concealed, you should not get the permit because this is the kind of thing that can happen. Are you doing this in other states as well? Are you going to other states and asking for concealed uh, records, concealed to carry permit records in other states too, or is it just Missouri? I know we are doing audits, these routine audits in some other states, but I don't know. I think it's a function of different state laws as to what exactly is within scope in terms of the use of the system. Well, why are you asking for it now from the state of Missouri, from our sheriffs, when you didn't ask for it in the past? Again, I'm going to have to get more information to be able to provide you he doesn't a know. response to your letter. D what, what, steps would the FBI take to make sure the information remains private if you're able to obtain it from these sheriffs all across Missouri? Uh, again, I'm my, the same answer. I really want to be careful not to um, speak when I don't have all the facts. Okay, so you're not going to answer my <laughs> questions. Well, um, uh, no, I am going to answer your question. We're just well, you're not answering them not now. Here He's not going to do it live <laughs> well, because you're on TV. He's going to do it privately in written form so that they can get all their ducks in a row with a good answer, political answer under oath and because you're not prepared to answer them. I'm disappointed, frankly. I, I sent you this letter days ago. This has been on your radar screen. The Attorney General of our state sent you a letter before that. Uh, hey, he glanced at it. Um, you've known about this. This is of significant concern. It directly affects Missouri state law. You can understand the position. You've praised your local law enforcement partners earlier today, Director. You're putting them in a terrible position in the state of Missouri. State law says they cannot turn over these personal records. The sheriffs cannot. You are asking them to. Apparently, in an unprecedented fashion, they've not been asked this before. I want to know what in the world you're doing with this. And frankly, I don't like the fact that the FBI is snooping around the concealed carry permit records of Missourians. I don't like it at all. I don't know what you want to do with it. I don't know what you're going to do with the information. But I don't like that you're putting our sheriffs in this position. And I'm disappointed that you're not ready to answer my questions. Let me ask you about something. That is uh, the best way to say it. I don't know how to frame it any better than that. Else. Afghan refugees. The FBI is... And we can see, I just did a video on the FBI and how I believe it is corrupt, but you think about the position the FBI is in and all the things that they're responsible for, all the things that they're supposed to be investigating. Uh, the FBI continues to show that they have corruption, they have political sways that just throw everything at their feet of Republicans of like, you know, we're going to do this, you know, explain yourselves. They're opening investigations. They're failing to open investigations in all the right and wrong places. I mean, this goes on. They, they talk about China's influence on, you know, espionage and stealing of tech from the United States. It is huge. And yet the FBI allows, you know, all these kind of things to just pass by the wayside instead of doing something about it and preventing this kind of espionage and then the U.S. actually doing something in the world courts against China for stealing that tech, allowing companies to work with Chinese companies and release that tech. Um, you know, this is 
more and more the effect that the FBI has from doing their job and not doing their job on just U.S. politics and you know the health of the nation is just becoming ridiculous. The idea that they don't know that there's a Missouri law that pre- prevents the sheriffs from turning that information over, putting those sheriffs in a conflict like this, is absolutely ridiculous.